So this has been sitting in my glove box ever since I bought the car. I traded in my WRX and this has been sitting in the glove box ever since I bought the STI. Now I'm contemplating on installing it on the STI. Right now the engine is bone stock, no mods. That is soon to change. But I'm thinking about installing the stage one map just to try it out to see if there's any kind of difference for you guys who have installed it. What did you guys think? Or should I just wait till I get all the mods and just do a pro tune all at once and enjoy the stock tune for what it is? Um, for now you guys saw the first pulls i did on the sti at a thousand miles and a lot of the research that i've been reading is the uh, stock maps are very lean and uh, i really wasn't expecting much to be honest with you but i don't know should i install the access port okay unboxing time now i will admit i am a sucker for these adams polishes mystery buckets uh, i don't know something about them that makes me want to order it probably because of you know it's a surprise so Let's just get right into it, see what we got. Another reason why I got this, this is not really cheap. It's like 75 bucks to ship all together. I needed a new bucket. Okay. Oh, glass towel, cool. Another polishing towel, I have a whole bunch of these. Um, let's see, wash mitt, cool. I already have a whole bunch of those. Let's see what chemicals we got. Ooh, carpet um, upholstery cleaner, spray wax, glass cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, tire shine, I already have that. Oh, wheel cleaner, car shampoo. Nothing too excited. Got one of these lids, too. Oh, this is bucket. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's see here. Continue, turn the key to the off position. It's, going, it's beeping. Doing all kinds of stuff. I haven't installed a fresh access port in a very long time. So now let's just turn the vehicle off. Turned it off. Continue. Off position for 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, that was weird. Never started up like that before. All right, stage one map is loaded. Those are my gauges for now. I'll probably change it up later, but let's take it for a test drive and see if there's any difference. So let me just put this down. I will mount that somewhere later and I'll show you how I'm gonna mount the access port. But first, let's go to Sports Sharp. mediocre one two shift i don't know i can't really tell much of a difference but that was only my first pull hit a max of 17 psi if that matters one thing i noticed off the bat sports sharp doesn't feel like sports sharp anymore on this cop ots map it feels like intelligent mode yeah sports sharp doesn't feel like sports sharp and you just there's i there's sharp or sport there's sports sharp and it doesn't have that immediate throttle like the stock map did hit a max of 19.2 psi now one felt a whole lot better to be honest with you so all the way up to the middle of third gear i think i can't remember too well so far it feels a little bit better than stock to be honest with you but i have to drive it around more to give you a more definitive answer i probably only went max boost in the sti total i think this is about my seventh time in total so so let's check out the access port see what the numbers are i can't really read it because i am driving Okay, so next let's try intelligent mode and let's see if the boost changes or the max boost and we'll do a small pull. Let me reset this. Yes. So that one was significantly slower 
Uh, max boost was 9.7 PSI. All right. Let's try sport mode. Let's see if we can get a clear road. I doubt we can, but um, let's see how much boost we get out of sport. Let me reset this. All right, that one was a little bit better, 14.9. So first, just for shits and giggles, let's test out um, the two-step, or launch control, whatever they call it. Let's set it low, let's set it to around, I don't know, 4,600 RPM. There you go. All right, so there it is, first impressions on the Cobb Stage 1 map. I know a lot of you guys said you guys don't feel a difference when you guys installed the Cobb Stage 1 map, but I will say in my experience, I did feel a difference in or around 3,500 to 4,000 RPMs. There was a small torque bump around that RPM range all the way up to Redline. Um, yes, and I will say that in confidence. And uh, I'm not a tuning expert or anything. I don't know what they did, but yes, there's a small increase in power, but it's nothing that's too dramatic. So don't go thinking that you're gonna go out and beat Mustangs and Ferraris or whatever. What really helped was the flat foot shifting. I did activate that, especially when shifting from first to second. It really helps, um, especially if you're taking your stage one car down the drag strip, that will really help you out. I noticed there are different boost levels throughout the different modes. And one thing I really have to get used to um, is the throttle mapping is different in Sport Sharp over stock sports shop feels like intelligent mode so you don't get that quick instant um over touchy throttle in sport sharp mode with the cob stage one map as you do um with the stock map but there it is first impressions cob stage one map more to follow and uh yeah short video for you guys thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys later peace out